Okay, here's an explanation of my solar power system. Here's the heart of my system. The uh, four 15-watt solar panels gives me a total of 60 watts at 1 amp each, so I have 60 watts at 4 amps charging my batteries. Very unobtrusive. Can't see them on the side of the roof and a direct southern exposure, so they're nice and out of the way. Let's go see my batteries. Okay, here's the other half of my setup. What I'm doing is I'm running six 6 volt batteries at 220 amp hours each, and I have them wired in series and parallel, which gives me a total of 660 amp hours out of six batteries. You can see I have my six batteries wired there. The uh, power comes in through this cable down to a 6 volt, 6 amp bus. Uh, I just have these 6 amp bus in case I want to add any other components later. It runs out through 12 gauge wire, which is the industry standard minimum out to my charge controller, and the little red light says it's it's charging nicely. I don't know whether you can see how much it's charging or not, but runs back out through 12 gauge wire uh, right out to my batteries. In my example, black is minus and white is plus. That's just the wire I had. My charge goes back up the wires into the charge controller, out through more 12 gauge wires, all the way over to my nice power inverter that I got at Harbor Freight Tools. My power inverter has two plugs. One plug runs around and runs through the wall. It runs into my living room and powers my lights. The other plug runs up to a double outlet that I installed on the wall, which gives me four separate outlets. This one runs to the back of my house to power more lights than the color TV at night. So I have all the lights and the power I need. This is a backup 2 amp battery charger, just in case I have a cloudy day and I need to charge it from the grid. As you can see, it is quarter to 5 in the afternoon, and I'm at 12.71 or 72 volts. So my batteries are fully charged and ready for tonight. How I hook these up in series and parallel is with large automotive cables. These are number two gauge copper cables you can get in any auto parts store. They're about five or six bucks a piece. They're number two gauge. Uh, they need to be as short as they possibly can to eliminate voltage loss. Uh, these are actually automotive starter cables that I get at the auto parts store. You can see that they're as short as they can. This happens to be a little longer one. But each set of batteries is wired in series, and then they're wired in parallel to each other. I have three sets of batteries, which gives me a total of 660 amp hours. And that's pretty much my system in a nutshell. Let me know what you think.